And now let's start with the bad news. So first, the legal regulation. And the legal regulation is actually pretty strict. So you may remember the good old days, or your grandparents may remember the good old days, when there was no regulation at all. Where you could get, for example, at your local druggist, cocaine-flavored tooth drops. You could get um, heroin hydrochloride at the pharmacist. You could get cannabis at the local corner store, which I guess you can get again today. Many of these substances were believed to cure cancer and people advertised as such. I'm mentioning all of this because eventually the patent medicine era was regulated in the early 20th century. The first real crackdown occurs during the World War I era. And basically the government starts deciding that it's gonna tax extensively non-prescription opiates and cocaine. And basically drives the legal cocaine and opiate prescription market out of business. Then in the 1930s, it cracks down on marijuana. The marijuana rules do not allow for a medicinal exception. Why? Because the government learned its lesson 15 years earlier during Prohibition. There was an exception during Prohibition for medicinal alcohol. And it would not surprise you to find out that large numbers of doctors were prescribing alcohol for everything from whooping cough to diphtheria. John Davin ran a whole practice on the Upper West Side of Manhattan prescribing beer for heart disease. Um, it actually turned out ironically that his patients did far better than the patients who were given the standard treatment. Because the standard treatment was bed rest. Now I assure you that beer does not cure heart disease. However, if you have a heart attack and then you sit in bed for six months without any anticoagulation, you're going to have a blood clot and die. So it looked like beer was very effective. Um, you can see how people took advantage of it. That is Winston Churchill's prescription for medicinal brandy that they consumed in large quantities as he toured America during a speaking tour in 1932. So the government was not going to be hoodwinked again. And when it passed regulation in marijuana in 1937, um, following the movie Brief for Madness, it decided there would be no medicinal exception. And basically, other efforts to crack down on a various range of substances, but a number of acts were passed in 1938, not just banning the substances, but not creating a medicinal exception. 